Hello everyone, welcome back to Second Life's Travels. We are here at the Witchlands, another spot here for October and Halloween this year. And we're going to be taking a look at it today. It's not overly uh, Halloween-ish, but I think it still has that feel to it that I quite like, so I'm going to be diving right into this today. They're having a hunt here as well. Don't know if the place will still be up by the time I post this though, so... Maybe it'll be here in November? I'm not quite sure. Because as I'm recording this, this is towards the end of October. And I will say there's a couple of private residences here, but they are uh, marked as much. Some nice skeletons dancing here, it looks like. Yeah, like there's this little sign to the left here, which is a little bit uh, blurry at the moment, but it is, uh... Does show the signs that are private re residence places. And I don't even think the doors will open up, uh... For anyone just clicking on them. There's a few open spots here, though, which we'll take a look at. Like right here, they have a movie theater here, actually. And they also have this nice lamppost here that has some moths going around it. But yeah, it's right here, and it's uh, pretty neat looking. I think it's a media stream, or a media screen. Which I think if you click on it, it'll probably just take you to a, a browser you could put your URLs in or something like that. Definitely see the old type of uh, camera they have here. And a guy that probably uh, stayed here a little too long. <laughs> Got some uh, stocks there, I believe they're called. At least I'm pretty sure they're called stocks. Got another private residence here, but we do have a tombstone here we can take a look at. It is a memorial for the Salem Wh Village Witchcraft Hysteria. Of those who died during it. I want to stay out of there since it's another private residence. But yeah, we'll take a look at this, uh, I think it's kind of like a shop here. It's not a real shop, but it's, uh... It's a place we can go ahead and take a look at in here. Looks like it's mostly, like, uh, occult knickknacks and, uh... Bottles and whatnot on the shelves. See a tarot deck there as well. Hand holding onto a candle. There's also a skull holding onto a candle there. <laughs> Got some tape trees here, it looks like. One of them looks like it's a pilgrim's hat with a skull on it, which I don't think I've seen that one before. A bunch of letters here as well. And various other things here. It looks like voodoo dolls, uh, skulls, other little bone pieces here. I believe the rest of the other building here is also a private residence, so it has a little bit more in front of its uh, fenced-off area here, which we can take a look at just from the uh, open spot here. It looks like a coffin, and there's like a hearse over that way. Some neat things, I guess.
We got a neat little uh, statue here. I don't think I've seen this one particularly before. Looks like it's a blood fountain from how it looks with the gargoyles spilling out uh, red liquid. And we'll go ahead and head up this hill. There's various little landmarks about. And we'll pretty much be heading up all of those. This one appears to be a chapel with a lot of nice uh, red leaves around it too. See the statues up here at the front. A lot of lit candles on the sides here. Actually, I like the building quite a bit. Wonder if this is another reference to the Salem Witch Trials, maybe? Because I assume that's what this whole, uh, considering it's called the Witchlands, I assume it's, uh, Pulling a bit from Salem lore, perhaps. That's a nice image over there with the bridge and the big uh, castle tower, it looks like, over there. See some coffins in the water over there. It looks like a few uh, bodies flick around in it. Let's go ahead and take a look in the cemetery. Got a few uh, mausoleum pieces here and other crypts. Looks like there's a whole buffet laid out on the table here though too. I do very much like the wind light here too. It's uh it's bright but it also creates a lot of shadows. Huh. Looks like blood soup's on the menu. Take a look in the crypts here. Got a few statues out here as well. Looks like a skeleton statue wearing a robe. Normal looking coffin here. I see these little ghost things everywhere and those are actually the hunt items around. I'm thinking about maybe looking and going through the hunt myself after this video. This one's lit up though, which is pretty nice looking. Very dusty, webbed over coffin it looks like here. That's the chapel we were just at, so we're going to actually head down here and take a look at the, uh, I believe this is a shop area down here, actually. So we probably won't spend too much time here, but I will uh, kind of stroll around the uh, pictures for a moment or two just to kind of show them off. I do like the pentagram cup pumpkin there, though. Yeah, it looks like this is a nail store. A lot of different uh, Halloween designs.
Oh, I think I've seen this store before. I remember this uh, moon seat here. I think I may even have this. I'm not sure. I like the lanterns though, right there. And this is a pretty neat uh, little stove area. Alrighty. I believe I've seen this one at uh, Lovecraft Festival before. And then the last one over here looks to be uh, collars it looks like. Collars and earrings, it looks like. Plenty of different uh, Halloween style things. I'm not sure if this thing to the right over here is the uh, tower we were looking at before. No, the tower's off that way, so looks like this is a spot I hadn't seen up to this point. Nice little pavilion spot here with the fire going at it. These are some pretty nice looking, uh, like gothic, gothic architecture buildings here. I believe I know this set, and it might be due to the wind light, but I think they're a bit more grayer in style. So I think it's a bit darker for the uh, wind light, I think, unless there's different textures to it. That's a neat throne piece right there, I have to say. That one must be just the throne by itself. I'm assuming the uh, statues next to it are a separate piece. Yeah, vampires definitely live here, don't they? <laughs> it almost seems like that would be somebody's private residence, but I did not see a sign by the door. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the bridge over here, along with the tower. Even have a gallows set over here, actually. Yeah, I guess these were some of the previous victims here. Ah, it's a uh, go-through. Okay, I'll just go ahead and float. Nice. It looks like we have, like, a bull out here? Only animal we've seen on this sim so far. Hmm. Hey, it looks like somebody else is here. 
Maybe they're on the hunt as well, I assume. Looks like a laboratory of sorts around here. Plenty of different bits of machinery and, uh... Bottles. Scrolls, things like that. I saw some stuff at the top when we were heading up here, so, uh... I'm assuming this will lead us all the way up. Had a bit of a freeze there for a moment. Yeah, looks like we have a bit of a Frankenstein set up here, I think. You can see a nice sunset over that way. And a couple of electric chairs overseeing the scenery of the entire sim. Nice spot here, really. In any case, that was the Witchlands. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you can stop and get a visit to it if it's still around uh, when this video comes out. And I'll see you guys next time. I guess maybe I was a bit too hasty to uh, close this place off, because I ended up finding a couple more places while I was hunting around. And so I'm going to put these uh, bits of footage in uh, editing and post, because... Uh, I actually went around the areas where most of these were, besides uh, the one outside, and uh, basically you would only see them if you had looked particularly in that spot where the stairs were behind the walls, so hopefully you guys enjoy these extra pieces, and I'll see you guys next time.